Hey guys, Rab here and I'm back again with a video on the brand new DAISY 1.10 update which just released on the experimental PC branch and we're going to be taking a look at what's been added this patch. This update seems to be very survival focused, so if that's something that interests you, make sure to watch all the way through the video. The first added feature is a highly anticipated broken bones. At this point, you can just break your legs, but I'm sure arms will come in the future. You can break your legs by either falling from a high distance or sustaining a high amount of blunt damage to your legs. Trying to walk with a broken leg will cause you to fall unconscious. Unlike the alpha version of the game, morphine will not fix broken bones and you will instead have to create a splint. A splint can be created by using rags and sticks. Once you have used a splint, it will be visible on your legs and you will no longer be able to sprint. We also have a brand new gun at this patch, that being the flare gun. Now it probably ain't going to be too good in PvP, but it'd be really good if you get lost and you know want to try and meet up with a friend. Shooting the flare gun will display a large red dot in the sky. Here are the new sounds and animations for the newly added flare gun. You can now pretty much skin an animal with any tool, hacksaw, axe, screwdriver. This is because leather or the pelt from the animal has become more useful as you can use garden lime to now craft it into leather which can be used to craft other resources. The major two being an improvised shelter and an improvised backpack. The shelter is 84 slots and takes sticks, leather and tarp to make. Tarp being a brand new resource added this update and I can see it being used a lot more for improvised structures in the future. The bag can be made with tan leather and a sewing kit. A small little change can be found on the southwest coast as more little islands have been added around the prison island bit to make it easier to travel to the island. They have also made a lot of changes to the temperature this patch. The main one being the higher up you are the colder you will be and if you don't know Charnerus the more you go inland the higher you go pretty much meaning Tissy is quite high and you're definitely going to need some warm clothes if you want to go there. It gets even more complicated than that. If you're in a, like an open field you're going to get wind chills which are going to cool you down even more. So, to tackle this, you're going to be wanting to wear the best clothing. Hovering over clothes will now tell you how good they are at insulation. This is very important as they've made a lot of changes to disease this patch, so staying warm is an absolute must. Because of these changes, we can expect the mouse to be released very soon. This is Sumrak's personal map of the lead developer of DayZ that he's been making for a few years now. He said that he was holding off on a release until some survival improvements had been made to the base game especially ones regarding weather as it's a very snowy and cold map. So just a really short video today guys as I wanted to go over what I thought was the most important things from this latest update. Once again I have to thank Exclusion for helping me put this video together. If you want to see his opinions on the 1.010 update I'll link him down in the description. This has been Rab, stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next one.